Hi, this is Mike Regan with Transact's Two Minute Warning for the week of March 23rd. And in this week's Two Minute Warning, we're focused on critically important things that are happening in the transportation industry because these things will impact your freight costs as well as your company's ability to move freight for the next several months. <laughs> If you've watched these two minute warnings for any length of time, then you'll know this one may look a little bit different and it is because Transact, like every other company in the country, is operating under what we call the coronavirus conditions. Now the virus can do a lot of things, but one of the things it cannot do is stop us here at Transact from honoring our commitment to provide you with valuable information that you need to know if you are responsible for running your company's transportation, logistics, or supply chain operations. Also want to give you a heads up that this one's going to be a little bit different because it's going to run longer than usual, but that's because the information is so important. What kind of information are we looking at? Well, first is how carriers are using freight embargoes to restrict where they're sending their equipment. This came to light a couple of weeks ago when FedEx sent out a note saying they were embargoing areas around San Francisco. And the reason that FedEx is doing this and the reason that FedEx is not alone, a lot of other trucking companies are doing this, is because they're concerned about the health and well-being of their driver. So if they conclude that the driver is being sent to an area where there's an increased risk of exposure to the coronavirus, they're not going to send them there. Now, what does this mean for shippers? It means that you need to know where your customers and your suppliers are at before you tender the freight. Because if they are in one of those restricted area, or like what Pitt, Ohio did saying that they're going to honor what the uh, governor of Pennsylvania said to do, which was only send your equipment to essential businesses, this could have an impact on your ability to move that freight. Now, the second thing that you need to be aware of is that the LTL carriers are sending off signals that they are being asked to deliver freight to businesses which have been temporarily closed because of the coronavirus. Now, under normal circumstances, they would bring it back to their facilities and attempt to re-deliver that at a different time. However, their facilities are jam-packed with freight, which is why I got a call from the CEO of a company. And he said, Mike, what do we do? Just heard from the super large carrier. They're bringing the freight back to our docks and we're jam-packed as well. And what this underscored was the fact that just like with the freight that's being embargoed into certain areas, you need to know what's happening with your customers and suppliers. And that's why our Constellation TMS, or Transportation Management System, is so important. It allows us to manage the information so that you can act proactively and not have carriers try to deliver freight to companies that are closed. Now, the third and final thing we need to talk to you about are decisions that shippers are making, which are going to have a negative impact on their ability to get carriers to show up at their doors in the future. Can you give me an example, Mike? Well, of course I can. We read an article recently, and then I happened to talk to a shipper that was doing what the article said. They've closed off their facilities by, for access by the driver. Now, that's perfectly understandable in light of the coronavirus threat. But here's what it means, practically speaking. It means that the driver does not have access to things like restroom facilities or a driver lounge where they can do business while the truck is being loaded or unloaded. Now, while this is perfectly logical, you may not understand the impact because what happens when that driver gets back into his or her cab is they're going to go online to these websites that allow them to report conditions at various dock facilities throughout the country. And if your company gets tagged as being a facility that is not friendly or has all amenities closed down, it could impact whether or not trucking companies will send their trucks into those facilities. You may say, Mike, what are our options? What are our alternatives? Well, for example, we met, talked to one company and we suggested the use of good solid porta potties which are sanitized on a regular basis, or alternatively, paying somebody on a temporary basis to go in and sanitize the restroom facilities or the driver lounges after they've been used. You may say, well, Mike, I don't want the increased cost, but folks, you may be paying that increased cost in, it's a 
just in, in order to get carriers to show up at your doors. So if you have decisions like this to make, we encourage you to give us a call because our folks at Supply Chain Edge gave me a whole litany of areas that shippers can look at in order to make it easier for them to do business with the carriers. And that means getting trucks at a future date if capacity becomes tight as we think it will be over the next couple of months as we come out of this corona virus situation. Now we've got a wealth of other types of information that we can share with you. And if you'll give me a call or send me an email, we'd be happy to get that information to you. Because with each and every two minute warning, we are here to remind you, we are on your team. We're here to help. And we're passionate about seeing you be successful. Thanks for your time.